What's going on guys, WhiteFox1225 here with another video, and today we have another ESO Saturday talking about my wish list for the Elder Scrolls Online on new skill lines, new classes, and new weapon styles. I love doing wish lists. I love just talking about what I want to see in the game, and I think it's really fun. So we're just going to be going over, like I said, new classes, new weapon styles, and new skill lines. So let's get right into the skill lines and classes. The thing about ESO is it has four basic classes. So I could picture a future where they add new classes, like a ranger or something like that. But I could also see them just adding new skill lines so you can expand your character and make them however you want. Either way, uh, I definitely think we'll get some more in the future. So worth covering in the episode and let's get right into it. I think a nature magic style character class would be really cool and this is something they were working on when the game was in early development. There were all four classes we have right now but there was also another one called the warden who was kind of like a ranger with more magic and used nature to use magic with his you know staff or whatever. So I think a character like this would be really cool whether it's a new class or just a skill line. Like kind of a ranger style character who could summon animals to fight with them and use totems and use astronauts, things like that and really a sort of a nature theme would be kind of cool to see that in the game. Another one I think would be awesome is the, the Necromancer, someone who could summon the dead enemies that they killed, that would be really great. And I could see that in ESO if you could you know, kill someone and raise them from the dead, that would just be fantastic. Other dark magic skills and you know skulls, all that typical Necromancer stuff, that would be cool to see in the game, again as a class or a skill line either way. I would love to see a monk or a bard or sort of a bare-handed character with no weapons at all that just uses their fists. We've seen that in games like World of Warcraft and you know Guild Wars. I would love to see that in the Elder Scrolls Online. I think it would be fresh and a lot different from what we have now, but I definitely could see it being possible and being something they add. Other than that guys, an engineer class would be really great. That's in Guild Wars 2, I really liked playing as that. Someone who could set up like Dwemer contraptions, turrets, things of that nature, traps, all that kind of stuff goes with an engineer class. So it's more focused on making things and deploying them. I think people would really like that. And then some new skill lines I would like is a poison creating one, they've talked about that in the past. Jewelry crafting would be nice, and then when we do get player housing, I would love to see a skill line that surrounds that. Last up, a bard skill line where you could play lutes and sing is pretty far-fetched, but I think it could be great. Maybe when you sing songs in battle, you get buffs or something like that to help you in dungeons or with your group. That would be really great, and on that topic, I would love to see the bards guild added back. I love that guild in Skyrim and playing around with that in Solitude. So that being added to the game would be really great. Again, maybe you could add buffs to characters with certain songs. I just think it would be fun, so adding that to the world skill line class would be really great. Also don't forget guys that the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild both have skill lines so we'll be getting two new skill lines by the half of the year and that should be pretty fun so you can expand your characters that way. But all of those classes that I mentioned could also just be added skill lines where you could expand your character because the Elder Scrolls Online really isn't about specific classes but more about you know taking a set sample of a character and expanding it to be whatever you want. So hopefully we see some new skill lines or new classes either way added to the game. Let's move on guys and talk about some new weapon ideas. I've talked about this a little in the past, but I figured I'd go into in depth in this video. So first off, let's just start off with standard weapons. I think a spear is probably the most requested one from the community, and I think it would be really cool to have. I think it's kind of something that would fit pretty easy into the game. You know, a spear that you could, you know, plunge into people, maybe even throw, would be really great. And obviously it would be a melee focused skill line, kind of like the two-handed ones we have, maybe a little quicker, more like jabbing. And I think that would be really great and people would really like it. And also not that hard to add to the game. So hopefully that will come with a future update or a skill line. A crossbow would be really great. I used the bow myself. So another ranged skill line would be you know, cool to see in the game. This one could focus more on like heavy damage with slow reload times more than the bow. Just something to make it a little different would be kind of nice. But I would love to see the crossbow. Like I said above, the option to use no weapon and have an unarmed skill line would be you know, pretty unique and I think it would be a big opportunity in the Elder Scrolls Online to kind of branch out and I think you know, a lot of people would like that in the game. Throwing knives or other throwing weapons would be great for like a quick DPS character. You could throw anything you want, knives, axes, stars, even torches would be pretty awesome. It's something we haven't seen in the Elder Scrolls in a while and I would love to see it add to the game. Moving on, let's talk about some PvP siege weapons that I would like to see added. So first off, some towers or ladders would be cool. You could use these to climb over the walls if you had enough people. 
Obviously, it would be a little overpowered if one person could put a tower up and climb over a wall. But if you could get like 20 or 30 people and you could put a ladder up, I think that would add a lot to the sieges. Obviously, the people on this keeps would be able to push the ladders over. And I think that would be an awesome, you know, scene to see and just make the sieges a little bit more epic than they are right now. Moving on, the ability to put down bear traps or other traps is something we can do as characters, but being able to set them up in front of keeps would be pretty cool. And kind of in that nature, being able to set up a barrier with barbed wires or spikes, something that you see in traditional games with like the, you know, just a standard war barrier would be pretty nice to be able to put up so you could restrict the movement of people. It would add like a new l layer of strategy to the game. I think all of those would be a really great addition for weapons, and I think those were all the awesome skill lines and classes, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the wish list. I know it's a bit of a shorter video, but unfortunately we haven't got any you know, ESO news really on the Thieves Guild of Dark Brotherhood, but we definitely will in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned, because when that does drop, we'll have a lot of videos, and of course when the Thieves Guild does come out in March, we'll be covering it pretty extensively on the channel. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a like. We actually have White Fox 1225 t-shirts. So if you are interested, just let me know in purchasing one. They're $15, and that includes shipping. Uh, if you guys want to check out my Twitter and Instagram, you can do so in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.